Well, hello again. It's nice to be back with you. Some of you may have watched some of my earlier videos on the Raspberry Pi credit card computer. Well, this one is going to be a little bit different. And the reason it's going to be different is that we're getting close to Christmas. And no doubt some of you are making lists about things you'd like to, to give uh, to uh, someone who's near and dear to you. Or you may be making a list yourself about things you might like to receive. And no doubt on some of those lists um, there are some uh, gadgets. Uh, and there are, might be some computer products. Um, but there might also be the wonderful, wonderful Raspberry Pi. So if the Raspberry Pi is on your list, this video is for you, whether you're giving or whether you're receiving. Now, up until now, it's been a bit difficult to, to deal with this machine uh, because you need lots and lots of pieces to go with it. However, your problems have now been solved because thanks to um, a number of manufacturers, including Maplin, um, th th there is available a complete kit, uh, which is everything you need for the Raspberry Pi in one box. Now, I don't like opening Christmas presents too early, but I'm going to make an exception. Now, it's only early November, but I'm going to make this a bit of an exception and get rid of it. And there, inside, is my, um, my complete Raspberry Pi kit. And in there is everything you need. There's your little diagram on the back and shows you the Pi. Um, but simply, everything apart from the TV is in that kit. And this video is going to be about um, putting that together, showing you a little bit about the Pi itself, and uh, talking a little bit about setting it up. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to include some stocking fillers. So things like books you might need to enhance your experience with the Pi, uh, and maybe a case uh, to put it in. So there are, there are lots of things uh, at the end of the video. Now, that kit comes in at about £80. There is a slightly more advanced kit, uh, which costs a little bit more money, about £100, which includes a case and some other bits and pieces. But to, to get you going, that £80 kit is an exceptionally good value for money. And uh, as I say, there are a number of suppliers from it, but I'm using the one from Maplin. So without any more ado, let's get started. So this is the Raspberry Pi itself. Just going to run through some of the connections for you. Um, starting from this side, there are two uh, USB connectors. Um, we're only going to be using one of those because we do recommend that you use a, um, a, a USB hub uh, to plug in your keyboard and your mouse rather than try and demand all the power from the board itself. On the bottom side here, we have um, an audio output socket and next to it, the yellow uh, socket, is a composite video socket for uh, connecting to more uh, conventional TVs not equipped with HDMI. The pins that you see here on this side of the board are for more advanced work. Um, the, the breakout pins enable you to connect the computer to um, various other devices and also maybe if you're doing some electronic uh, um, experimenting then to a breadboard. Um, we're not going to be covering these pins in this video but they are there and maybe in a later video I'll show you some of the things you can do with those. On the far side we have the power connector um, which goes to a supplied power adapter which I'll talk about in a few moments. On the top of the board an HDMI connector um, for connecting to your TV um, and uh, the HDMI cable is also supplied with this kit. Moving around here, we have um, the the connecting connector socket um, for your uh, your Ethernet cable um, to connect to your um, to your hub, uh, so your internet hub. <coughs> and um, personally, I, I recommend a direct connection. Um, it, it does the, the device does work with a Wi-Fi signal. Um, not all um, Wi-Fi dongles work with it but uh, the one supplied in this kit does. But a direct connection, um, I, I found in my circumstance anyway, is a little bit more reliable. So there's your connector there. And that's about it. That is the Raspberry Pi. Now let's have a look at some of the other components that go to make up the kit. So these are all the components that you will find when you unpack your Raspberry Pi kit.
Starting from the left, there's a USB hub into which the uh, mouse and keyboard are plugged. And also you might see um, the small Wi-Fi dongle which is plugged in there as well. Above the hub is its power supply. Um, and from the hub, there's a USB connecting cable which goes into the USB port on the star of the show, which is the Raspberry Pi board. There are two connectors on here for USBs, um, but we're only using one of them. Top center of the board is the HDMI connector, and you'll see I've got the supplied HDMI cable plugged into that. Um, unfortunately, the kit does not come with a, an HDTV, so you're going to have to find uh, either a spare one around the house or um, you're going to have to uh, commission your main TV. But um, be aware that many monitors do not come with an HDMI socket on it, so it's going to have to be a TV of some description. On the right hand side of the board you'll find the power connection which goes to the power adapter. Um, this is more than capable of supplying all the power needs of the board. Um, it supplies two amps at five volts um, and so that's all included as well. And then just beneath that connector there is the SD card. Now this is an 8 gigabyte SD card and it comes already con uh, configured with the operating system. One of the exciting things about buying a Raspberry Pi is that you're moving away from Windows uh, and you're moving into the area of Linux. And for a lot of people it will be their first introduction to Linux. This card comes with um, uh, the operating system all pre-installed um, ready to run. And in other videos I've shown you how to uh, download and install different operating systems on this card. But they all run in the Linux format. And uh, that's about it. It does come with a basic user's guide at the top, um, but I will be recommending a number of books uh, to give as stocking fillers with this kit a little bit later on, because that guide is very, very basic. It might be helpful to demonstrate briefly how you fit the SD card to the Pi. So there's my Pi, there's the SD card. Um, all I'm going to do is turn the Raspberry Pi over. Um, you see the uh, card slot here. Now you can use an adapter in there and use a micro SD card. Um, but what I'm going to do is just use the standard card. So I put it in with the label facing me. In other words, if you look at it from the top, it's upside down. And I'm just going to slide the card in until it, um, it, until it fits into place. And that's basically about it. Um, turn the Pi over. And uh, there it is, all ready to go with the card fitted. It's important to remember you should never have the power on while you're removing or fitting a card. It can just destroy data on the card. OK, well I think we're about ready now to um, actually connect the Raspberry Pi um, to our monitor, to power the whole thing up and to see what we end up with. Um, so let's get started with that. So here's everything set up um, and connected but um, as you can see there's no power plugged in yet. Um, the HDMI socket is connected from the Pi up to uh, a TV um, and as you can see it says no signal uh, because there's no power on the Pi. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually connect the uh, Raspberry Pi by plugging the thing in. Once that's done, you see the screen go black and a lot of configuration coming up onto the screen. Don't worry too much about that. Um, it goes through this every time the, the Pi boots. And if we look at the Pi itself, uh, we can see that it's um, flashing away there quite merrily. And the little LEDs are on and off. Um, so the, fly, the, the Pi is actually 
booting itself up. So let's go back to the screen now and see what happens. It goes blank for a little while. And then very soon we should see the Pi logo arrive, which it does. Um, and then very soon after that uh, we will see the, uh, the menus come up on the, uh, on the left hand side of the screen. Down the bottom of the screen you'll see a toolbar. If I move the cursor it might be a bit difficult, um, but if you uh, click on this icon here um, you see various options. Um, and I have internet there, I have programming, all sorts of system tools. Um, I'm just going to open the internet to let you see how it works and uh, I can go into this one and almost immediately um, we will get our web browser up here on the screen and there's Google so we can do our normal Google searches on that um, and we can also we can close that um, we can go on to our Pi store uh, which allows you to um, open up uh, and download lots and lots of uh, pre-written games but the whole fun of this is to learn how to write your own um, and uh, well that's it really that's the the Raspberry Pi and um, it's very exciting it's very uh, very good to use and uh, I'm sure you'll get lots of enjoyment from it um, if I close that and just demonstrate scratch uh, so I'll go on to scratch and um, there is uh, the scratch there so we can we can uh, we can use that as well so I open scratch and those of you who have used this at school will be familiar with that screen um, to learn how to use it and, and to create icons and do various things uh, in Scratch. So there we are. I'm going to close that application. You can see how quick this thing is. It really is good. What I would say is if you're going to shut down, which I'm going to do now, um, then you need to come over to this side of the screen and you need to click on the little red icon. Uh, don't try and just get rid of all the power on it. There are of course loads of books available and uh, while you're at it why not add a colourful protective case to make your Raspberry Pi look really really cool. Well that's about it. I've tried to fit as much as I possibly can in this short instructional video and hopefully now you've got your Raspberry Pi up and working. Um, it only remains for me to say thank you for watching, have a really, really good Christmas, and if you've asked for a Raspberry Pi, and I really hope you get one. Um, thank you for watching, and have a happy Christmas. Goodbye.